Hey guys, so here's a quick tip for giving your users options for how they want to pay for your app. So in internet land, if you want to make money off of your product, there's largely two ways to do it. Either someone pays for it or you run ads. And normally platforms will do one or the other, but there's a third option, and that is to give people the options about what to do. And this would be a great option for something like Facebook too, where if their people are concerned about what they do with your information, then you say, hey, you can just pay us monthly, or if you're not concerned, you can uh, just uh, sell my information and run ads on me. So you can set this up in Adalo. So here's what I've got set up right here. I've got a, an ad mob banner right here and I've got a uh, purchase button, an in-app purchase button. So this is, if you look inside the ad mob thing, you can install that in the store marketplace. You can do that. And same thing with the in-app purchases right here. You just got to install it in the explore marketplace okay so i've got these two things the other thing is i set up i have in my database i've got my users and i've got a field called no ads and it's just a boolean it's just true or false okay so here's what we're going to do someone comes into your app and you say you know i i, I gotta have one of these two options um so let's say this uh, the person says these ads are annoying me i'd i'd be willing to pay a little bit to get rid of them okay so then here we've got our hide ads button. So when they when they press this, they're going to pay for it. And you go down to actions and you say, OK, when the uh, purchase was successful, I want to add an action and I want to update my logged in user and I want to update the no ads and say true and we can say done. OK, so now that updates our user after they've paid the money and then I can go to my ads and I can say can change visibility. I want it to be sometimes visible and I want it to be some I want to be visible if the logged in user no ads is false done. OK, so now we've got it set up because it's going to look at that property and say, hey, I'm going to show it if this is false, but if it's true, I'm not going to show it because they've paid for it. Okay, so that's the, the, the sort of way that you can give your users an option. It makes it a much better experience because then they know they're in control and I and the, and and it's clear to them to say, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm making a decision. This is a worse experience, but I'm paying for it <laughs> by this kind of worse experience showing me ads. Or if I want a better experience, I can pay a little bit of money. All right. Hope you found that helpful. I'll see you later.